Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So, what do you do if you want to scale your web app? The first thing that you do is you pull the database out of the mix. You put it onto a, another server, another VPS perhaps, and uh, bing, bang, bomb, boom, bing, boom, bang. That's Bob's your uncle, there we go. And you've just scaled your app to a certain degree. Database is typically where you're going to see most of the pressure in terms of most web apps. Not all, but most web apps. is opening connections to the database, reading and writing to databases. This is where you're gonna see most of the trouble. So extracting the database from your uh, core app, putting onto another server is gonna probably help quite a bit. The next thing you can do is caching. Next thing you do in terms of um, your queries, next thing you do is you can optimize your, your queries to the database minimize the number of times you open connections use a caching layer there's these are the uh, low-hanging fruit in terms of the strategies that you can use to scale an app if you start getting a lot of traffic there's all kinds of other things that you do you can get really advanced you can do with something called database sharding you can start doing load balancing you can start using high performance http servers like uh, engine x and there's all kinds of settings you can do in there to optimize things. So why am I talking about this? Well, it's come up. It's come up recently. We are uh, looking at this issue now with Studio Web 4 in terms of load coming on board. And uh, so we got to start looking at proper scaling. Now, let me back up. Before you start extracting parts of your app and putting it onto other servers, database being the first thing I would touch, you could just raise the RAM in the CPU on the on the uh, the main server. That's one thing you can do. That's one of the advantages of uh, a VPS is that it's really easy to uh, add more capability, more power to your server. You just dial it in. I use a couple of uh, VPSs. Uh, we're going to be, I think, concentrating more on uh, DigitalOcean. Um, for our needs, although there's a lot of good hosting out there. Don't get me wrong. You have to pick the hosting that works for best for your particular uh, needs. For most websites and web apps, just basic standard hosting will be fine. But if you want to get serious, more serious, then you have to look at different solutions. There's always different angles. Anyway, that's another video. So there you go. If you're concerned about pressure on your web app, first thing you do is make sure your web app is on a VPS. That's the first thing, so you can start adding resources, meaning RAM and CPU. Next thing you do is you can optimize your queries, get a better um, ORM, object or relational mapping tool. Some ORMs are, more, are better than others. And next thing you do is pull the database out, put it on its own server, so it has its own dedicated uh, CPU and RAM. And right there, that will handle 99.99% of people's sites. That's where we are at now. We're doing that. We also have a caching layer and so on. But it's something that's come up. So I figure I'd do a quick vlog about it. There you go. Thank you.